All right, guys, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. I want to show you guys what we're doing today. Today, we're going to run some manure through the Rocket Char 301. This is a wild horse manure from the BLM facility in southwest Wyoming over in Rock Springs. They've got these wild horses that live out on the BLM, and they have a facility there where they do some medical work on them. And they're trying to figure out what to do with their manure. So today, we're going to run some of this manure. We're running on wood chips right now, but we're getting ready to transition to the, uh, to the manure. So we're going to start raking some of this into the field in here. Alright guys, so now we're here, we're running our manure today. This is the uh, horse manure from the BLM. So you can see uh, kind of our mix here. This is what we're feeding into the system here, manure. It's got a little bit of some wood chips in it, but it's mostly just dry manure. So you can see right now in the burn chamber, we're at 1323 degrees. Our set temperature is 1329. But uh, everything seems to be running pretty good. It doesn't have quite as many BTUs as the wood, so we're having we to turn our fuel up just a little bit. Uh, but so far, so good. All right, guys, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. We're here at the end. We're making our manure biochar from our horse manure. We've been measuring, so we've made almost a gallon in 15 minutes. Uh, so it looks like the, our output on this uh, manure biochar is going to be probably be somewhere in the three to four gallons per hour. Um, but it makes for a really, really nice biochar. We've had to feed a lot more material. It uh, doesn't have quite the BTUs that the wood has, but it's really making a nice looking biochar.